same. Okay, any question regarding your assignment? Lagi soalan. Ada mungkin yang I forgot to reply within our within our within the WhatsApp. Ada tak? Okay, teacher. Our assignment uh, all submit uh, at the put a blast. No, no. Is that the right? Assignment, no. The assignment must be, if you follow the instruction given at uh, the first week, all the assignment must be submitted through, uh, through Dropbox. Please read my instruction in the first assignment, at uh, the first uh, week, first week document that I've shared. Ada kan? So I say that every all the assignment must be submitted through Putra Blast. Yes, okay, uh, just uh, all, all assignments uh, submit uh, the first uh, uh, assignment uh, Dropbox. Yes. yes. Uh, so oh, okay, all okay. assignment, okay? Uh, send through Dropbox. Okay, okay any other question? Okay, thank you. Welcome. Ada, tak ada. Okay, so we proceed with this week topic, which is on the analysis and interpretation of data, the general linear model, the two-way ANOVA, okay, in which another statistic on F distribution. Uh, so last time we already covered on the one-way ANOVA, okay, so the two-way ANOVA is the extension of one-way ANOVA, okay, which is, refer, which is also known as the factorial ANOVA or repeated measure ANOVA, okay. Uh, so F distribution, you also can see when you run the uh, one-way ANOVA as well as when you run the regression. So you can see the F, uh, the F uh, statistic, okay, F distribution. So this is another group uh, or the family members of F distribution analysis, okay, which is the purpose of uh, two-way ANOVA is to make comparison and then to test, the, uh, to test on the interaction effect. Okay, so for one-way ANOVA, okay, the, the main purpose is to, uh, to check on the mean differences between groups. Okay, but for two-way ANOVA, okay, uh, rather than just look for the mean, uh, for the comparison between groups, we want to see the interaction between two, uh, two, uh, two groups, okay, two different categories, okay. Okay, so this is our LO. At the end of the session, students are able to define the two-way ANOVA, which is the interaction effect test. Okay, describe the purpose of two-way ANOVA. Uh, define the data requirement and step in two-way ANOVA analysis. Determine two types of effects in two-way ANOVA. And then report results according to the SIG APA style. Okay, so these are the four objectives of the topic. Okay, so there are five uh, sub-objectives. First, determine the function of two-way ANOVA. Okay, uh, determine the statistical assumption required uh, in two-way ANOVA, data requirement for two-way ANOVA. Okay, analyze and interpret two-way ANOVA in IBM SPSS and report the result according to the APA style. Okay, so two-way ANOVA, again, eh, it's also known as the factor analysis of variance, okay, or two-way be, uh, between subject ANOVA or repeated measure ANOVA or factorial ANOVA. Uh, two nama lain dia. Okay, it is also referring to two-factor hierarchical design. Okay, in terms of the application where we should use the uh, two-way ANOVA ni, uh, either when you implemented the experimental studies, when you conduct the quantitative study, and then uh, the design that you use is experimental study. So then you can directly apply this, uh, this analysis. Okay. Next one, you, if you use the quasi-experimental studies or field studies. So these are among the design that um, automatically reflect uh, apa tu, uh, the type of stat this statistical analysis to be used uh, in your research. If you, if you apply this design, then you may consider okay, to have two-way ANOVA in your, as one of the objective of your study. Eh? <clears throat> okay, so the purpose of two-way ANOVA, there are two purposes. First, you want to find the significant differences between groups, okay, between groups in one category, similar to when you run the one-way ANOVA. We want to find the mean differences between the 
categories between the groups tu. Okay, and then the second one to evaluate mean differences between two or more treatment. Uh, eh? This one with the absence of the interaction between two or more uh, two or more group. Okay, so for example, eh, a research study with two independent variable. So uh, in two way ANOVA, if let's say in one way ANOVA, we only have one independent variable and then one dependent variable. In one way ANOVA, we have one IV and then one categorical IV and then one continuous DV. Okay, but in two-way ANOVA, we have two categorical independent variables and then we have one DV. We still have one DV, but it just, we have two categorical independent variable. Okay, for example, a research study with two uh, independent variables. So we want to look the effect of different teaching methods and three different uh, class, size, uh, class size on uh, the max achievement test score. Okay, so our DV is map achievement. So our IV, the first IV is class size. Okay, the second IV is teaching methods. So we want to see, okay, the different, uh, the different map achievement between different classes. First, we look at different class. Okay, and then second, we look at the teaching methods. And the third one, we want to see. Okay, the effect of the interaction between the class size and teaching methods towards math achievement. Uh, if you may recall, this one is quite similar to cross tab, cross tabulation. Uh, okay, so first we we are interested to see on uh, the effect uh, the effect of class size on different class size on math achievement. Second one, uh, we want to see on the different methods applied towards a different teaching methods applied towards math achievement. And then the third one, we want to see the interaction between IV1 and IV2 towards math achievement. Clear, eh? Ini dia punya purpose. Okay, in terms of the requirement, the DV must be interval or ratio scale of measurement. Okay, same, uh, it is similar, a uh, shared similar requirement with when, uh, when we run the one way ANOVA, sama. The DV must be interval or ratio scale of measurement, meaning that when we want to run the two way ANOVA, okay, our data must fulfill the requirement of normality. Okay, our DV must be, our, must, our DV must be normally distributed. Okay, so when we say that it is must be normally distribu distributed, meaning that this statistics falls within the parametric test. Okay, parametric. So, two-way ANOVA is one type of parametric test. Okay, so then uh, to run the two-way ANOVA, we only need one dependent variable. Only one dependent variable. Okay, <clears throat> and then in terms of the independent variable, the, 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 our IV must be nominal or ordinal scale of measurement, which is it must be in categorical. Okay. And then it only required two independent variables or only two factors with the number of group can be more or equals to two. Eh, boleh jadi dua ataupun lebih. Okay. The purpose is rather than we want, uh, rather than we just want to see the, uh, uh, the effect of different groups towards the DV, then we also want to see the, the, how does the IVs influence the DV. Okay. Okay, so the assumption that must be fulfilled to run the two-way ANOVA include the first one, normally distributed, normality. Okay, so data within each cell of the design are assumed to be normally distributed. Okay, and then equality of variance because this analysis involves comparison. So therefore, we must, uh, must prove that our data met the assumption of homogeneity of variance by using living statistic. Okay. And then random sample, okay, our, our subject or our sample must be randomly assigned into the groups, okay, and then independent sample, meaning that the sample must be mutually exclusive. It cannot be appear twice, okay, in our, uh, in our treatment, okay. Okay, if let's say uh, the two-way ANOVA yields inaccurate P value if the independent assumption is violated. Uh, kalau, kalau, uh, if let's say we violate this assumption, then uh, the result of our two-way ANOVA will be inaccurate. Lah. Okay. 
So let's see how does the two-way ANOVA work. If you may recall, when you run the one-way ANOVA, we are interested to, uh, to see the differences between or within. Uh, when, when you run the one-way ANOVA last time, you are interested to see the comparison within or between. Within group or between group. Within or between? Between? Between, right? Uh, between subcategories lah. You have one group, one, one IV, but the IV ni has subgroups. So we are interested to, to see the differences between the groups. Okay. So this is in two-way ANOVA. Uh, so we are more, we are interested in between group. Between group. Okay. And then we are also interested to see the interaction. First group A, group A between group, okay, between category, between category of the first IV. And then the second one is between the category of the, of the second IV. And so, okay, so, uh, sorry, of the second IV. And then the interaction of the subcategories in first IV and second IV. Okay, we, we want to see how does the interaction of these two IVs need, uh, 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 apa tu lead to changes or effect or affect the DV. Uh, so sama macam dalam one way ANOVA. Sama. It just here kita ada one more uh, uh, apa tu uh, another uh, another objective which is we want to to see on the interaction between the two IVs, two categorical IVs. Okay. Okay. Ni tak apa laju. Ni calculation ke apa. <clears throat> okay. So this is the illustration eh. I need the illustration first. We want to see on the influence of factor A towards the DV. Okay. The comparison lah eh. Comparison subcategory A1, A2 towards the DV. The second one factor B, B1, B2 towards the DV. The next one we want to see the interaction. If A1 interact with B1, so what is the result of DV? Next one, A1, B2, what is the interact, what is the effect on DV? And then A2, B1, what is the effect on DV? And then lastly, A2, B2, and then what is the effect of, uh, what, it, what are their effect towards the DV? Eh, kita ada additional yang ni satu. Okay, so ini antara uh, contoh dia, example. Okay, for example, we want to determine the effects of different note-taking methods on GPA for men and women. Okay. Different note-taking methods is our first IV. Okay. In which we have three methods. Method A, method B and method C which is the control method. Okay. And then gender. We have gender male and female. Okay. So this one we call it as three by two factorial design. Three row. Okay. This The column is uh, IV, the second IV. Okay. Row, column. So our row is three, okay, and then our column is two. Betul kan? Kesi salah. Terbalik. Terbalik eh. Betul ke salah? Row column. Terbalik kan? Column. Terbalik. Three three column two row. Three column two row. Okay. So IV not taking. So we have three three times three by two. So three column two row. Okay. So method, for example, okay, method A, okay, method A, then we have sample one here. Okay, method A, male. So what is the result of the interaction on the GPA? Method B, for male, which is sample two. So what are the result on GPA? Method C, which is male. And then, what is the, which is referring to sample three. So what are the result on GPA? Uh, same goes to the rest lah. Itu yang kita nak tengok. Okay, according to the group ni. Faham eh? Clear, clear. Okay. Okay, so the two-way ANOVA will allow researcher to test for mean differences in the experiment. So we have two types of effect. Main effect and interaction effect. Okay, kita guna the term effect. Eh? So main effect ni referring to the main difference uh, which is GPA between different note-taking methods. So we have three methods. Okay, itu the first uh, main effect. The second main effect is the main differences 
of GPA between men and women, which is IV2. Okay, this is the second main effect. So in two-way ANOVA, we have two types of effect, which is main effect and interaction effect. In main effect, if we have two IVs, so we are going to have two main effects. Okay, and then the next one, interaction effect, and uh, referring to any other mean differences that may result for unique combination of a specific note taking method and a specific gender. So this is referring to the specific, the interaction of specific note taking method and specific gender. Kita nak tengok interaction between that subcategories. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> then uh, the things need to be considered in two-way ANOVA is uh, the statistical power, which is referring to the probability of finding a significant difference in a sample given a difference between groups of a particular size and a specific sample size. So uh, it is calculated before conducting study, which is it is predetermined. Okay, if you know the expected magnitude of a difference between group, you can, for example, calculate how large a sample, you need to be 80% sure of finding a significant uh, difference or observe power. Uh, in calculated power before conduct the study or observe power, which is you use likelihood of finding a significant difference between groups in any particular sample with the sample size in your study, assuming that differences between groups you find in your sample is the same size as the differences between groups in the population. So the statistical power ni for two-way ANOVA, you can determine either before conduct the study or after you completed your study, dua-dua. Okay. Okay, the function of two-way ANOVA. Okay, sama tadi eh. So first, we need to look for the mean comparison. Mean comparison ni is re uh, reflecting our main effect. Okay, effect which is reflecting the effect of IVs on the DV. So again, in two-way ANOVA, we have two main effect. The effect of... Uh, first IV towards the DV and then the effect of second IVs toward the DV. Okay, and then the second if the type uh, second type of effect is interaction effect, which is the interaction effect between IVs and DV that cause changes in DV. Okay. Okay, so first we look into the main effect. Okay, the effect of uh, main effect is effect of independent variable. So it indicate the difference in the population and should be uh, should this pattern be confirmed by statistical testing. So it is similar as what we learned in our one way ANOVA. Okay, sama saja. Okay, Nida. Okay, so basically we how does we ref, uh, apa tu write our hypothesis for main effect? Same goes to when we write our one way ANOVA hypothesis. For null hypothesis, we just mentioned has not. Mu1 equals to mu2 equals to mu3. If we have three uh, categories for the first IV. Okay. And then our research hypothesis, we just mentioned that not all means are equal. Ha, kita boleh buat macam tu. Not all means are equal. Okay. So meaning that if you have two IVs in two-way uh, two ANOVA, we need to mention two, uh, two set of main effects. Okay, main effect for factor A and then main effect for factor B. Okay, this is uh, another factor for example. Eh? Uh, this is sebenarnya uh, the number of categories ni minimum two. It can be the combination of two or three. Okay, boleh jadi dua-dua. Tak semestinya dua eh. Okay, uh, so it is possible eh, to have significant main effect but not to have a significant interaction effect. Uh, possible untuk kita ada Main, uh, main effect ni significant but there is no significant interaction effect. So the re reverse is also possible. Mana-mana boleh jadi. Okay. Meaning that the, the relationship to not necessarily direct relationship. It can be based on the interaction or sometimes it can, they have, they might have the direct interaction, uh, direct influence but they do not have the interaction between the IV1 and IV2. Okay, so this is another example. Okay, ni kalau kita guna... Oh, ni dah tak apa. Ni boleh laju. Okay, so this one is the example of interaction effect hypothesis. Okay, so interaction between factors exist if the effect of one factor depends on the level of the second factor. Ini maksudnya. Perubahan any changes on the first factor ni depends on the second factor. Okay, the interaction. So the interaction is identified as the AX. B, uh, A multiplied by B interaction, AB interaction. 
Okay, so for example, example of hypothesis, uh, the null hypothesis, it can be there is no interaction effect between note-taking methods and gender on GPA or uh, our research hypothesis will be there is an interaction effect between note-taking methods and gender on GPA. So which one, uh, in which this one is ref, uh, referring to uh, non-directional non hypothesis. Kita just mention ada interaction effect but we do not mention which uh, uh, inter, uh, which note taking methods will uh, have apa tu has significant or will influence uh, GPA uh, higher compared to the rest. Okay. Okay. So these are the research question for two way ANOVA that we want to answer. So first, is there a main effect for IV or factor one? Okay. So for example, is there a main effect of gender? on uh, GPA, okay? So second one, is there a main effect for, uh, for IV or factor two? For example, is there a main effect for suction? Okay, ni saya tukar. Okay, so then the third one, is there a IV or factor one by IV or factor two interaction? Okay, so for example, is there a gender by suction interaction on GPA? Okay, uh, okay dah. Okay, so these are the steps that you need to know. First, you need to you, you need to be able to run the analysis in IBM SPSS, identify the required statistics. Okay, and then based on the required statistic, ni, you, you, you are able to determine the main effects and the interaction effect. You set the alpha, decide and present, and then lastly, interpret and report your finding. Okay. So this is uh, the example. Eh? So for example, a study has been conducted to investigate how tall corn grows under various conditions. The head of the corn, which is in inch, is the dependent variable. Tinggi-tinggian uh, jagung tu dalam inci. Okay, the researcher is interested in studying two independent variables. So the first variable is seed type, which is there are two level, okay, pearl and silver. The pearl and silver. Okay, and then the second independent variable is fertilizer type, jenis baja two levels of seaweed and fish. Okay, there are the seaweed and fish, two, two by two. Okay. Okay, so first, the question to first, test the main effect of seed and fertilizer type at 0 0.05 level of significant and provide your answer according to the following item. First, state the null and research hypothesis, run the analysis in IBM SPSS, and then identify the appropriate statistic to be reported, identify the alpha, make decision and conclusion. Okay, the second one, state the null and research hypothesis for interaction effect. Okay, and then uh, state the null and research hypothesis, run the analysis in IBM SPSS. Okay, and then identify alpha, make decision and conclusion. And lastly, prepare a write-up according to the SIG APA style. Okay, so this is the table that we need to prepare. Okay, so to respond to the first question, state the null and research hypothesis for the main effect. Okay. So first, because we have two independent variables, so we need to write on the hypothesis for each uh, IV. Okay, so we start with the first IV, which is the seed type. Okay, the first main effect. Okay, our null hypothesis, we mentioned that our, uh, uh, the mean for pearl equals to mean for silver. Okay, the, our research hypothesis, mean uh, for pearl is not equals to mean for silver, or we can also write in written form, Null hypothesis, the population means are equal across different type of seed, okay, pearl and silver, or our research hypothesis, population means are not equal across different type of seed, which is between pearl and silver. Okay, then we run the analysis in IBM SPSS. Okay, so for example, we got this result. Later on, we will go, we will proceed with uh, our hands on, eh, in contoh dulu. Okay, so we got this result. Okay, for pearl seed, pearl seed, seaweed fertilizer, 60, 60 inch. Silver seed, seaweed fertilizer, 40, 40 inch. Okay, and then pearl seed, fish fertilizer, 40. Silver seed, fish fertilizer, 60 inch. Okay, so ini dia punya result. Okay, so then we set our alpha which is at 0 0.05. Okay, and then... Based on our interpretation, we've either failed to reject or reject the null hypothesis. Okay, by looking at the columns mean, we can see that 
uh, we find that the value is 50 inch for both type of seat. Okay, kita tengok eh. Column mean. Dua-dua. Seat -dua. uh, fertilizer, 50, semua 50, sama je. Okay. We fail to reject hash not. Okay. Okay, and then this is the conclusion. There is uh, there is no difference in height and conclude that there is no main effect due to seat type. Okay, tak ada kesan. Sama je. Okay, then we see the second main effect which is the fertilizer. We, we state the null and research hypothesis. Either the means of seaweed equals to mean uh, fish. Research hypothesis, mean for seaweed not equals to mean uh, for fish or, for, uh, or we can uh, write in written form. Okay, population means are equal across different type of fertilizer between seaweed and fish or our research hypothesis, population means are not equal across different type of fertilizer between seaweed and fish. Okay, and then we identify the appropriate statistic according to our result, set alpha and then make decision. Ini contoh je eh. Okay, and lastly, we prepare our interaction effect. Okay, so the interaction effect, we can write in written form. There is no interaction uh, effect uh, between uh, fertilizer, uh, sorry, seed type and fertilizer. And then our research hypothesis, we can mention that there is an uh, uh, significant, there is an there is a significant interaction effect between seed type and fertilizer type. Okay. Okay, so ni sama. We just set, uh, we, we identify the statistics, set the alpha value and then make the interpretation, conclusion and reporting. Okay, so these are the effect size. Okay, after we know that there are differences or the, there are interaction effect, then we want to report how much is the interaction effect. So in terms of effect size, you can, you, you have a few options. Either you want to report the eta squared, partial eta squared, omega squared or partial omega squared. Okay, so you can pick either one lah. Okay, ni, ni tak apa, saya lajukan kat sini. Okay, uh, this one I thought we can proceed with, okay. Uh, have I shared this data? Belum lagi eh? Data on multi, uh, on detergent ni. Tak ada kan? Hold on eh, I will share. I will share on our chat box. Okay, please use the whitening two-way ANOVA data set eh, to, uh, to do this hands-on. Okay, so for example, the question is, the researchers wish uh, to investigate whether there is a difference in the whitening powder of mighty good and supermax detergent. So we have two types of uh, whitening powder. The first one, mighty good. The second one, supermax, supermax detergent. Okay, they also wish to investigate if there is a significant main effect of the whiteness of closed clothes when wash if uh, in hot or cold water so dua first kita nak tengok sama ada per, ada tak perbezaan dalam bila kita guna mighty good uh, powder ataupun supermax detergent lagi satu kita nak tengok main effect of the whiteness of clothes when wash in hot or cold water sama ada 
uh, ada beza tak sama ada uh, baju tu dibasuh dalam air panas ataupun air sejuk dua eh okay so first question test the main effect of the studied variables at point zero five level of significant and provide your answer according to the following item first state the null and research hypothesis Okay, run the analysis in IBM SPSS and then identify the appropriate statistics to be reported. Okay, set your alpha which is already been determined based on the question. Okay, and then make decision and lastly conclusion. Okay, the second question, state the null and research hypothesis for interaction effect. Okay, so first state the null and research hypothesis, run the analysis in IBM SPSS and then identify the appropriate statistic to be reported. Set the alpha, the alpha already been given, 0 0.05. Make decision and lastly, conclusion. Okay, lastly, we prepare the, a, a write-up according to the SIG APA style. Okay, so based on the, the based on the given information, we already can illustrate in table what, what the question want. So we can, uh, 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 apa tu, we can create one table that indicated the factors. Okay, whitening powder. And then water temperature. So we have two water temperature, hot and cold. And then two uh, two types of powder, whitening powder, mighty good uh, and supermax. And then the result in terms of uh, the effects toward the DV, which is the clothes whiteness. Okay. So to respond to the first question, we mentioned our null and research hypothesis for main effect. So when we mention main effect, please mention two, uh, two set of main effect. Okay, uh, the first main effect is on the type of detergent. Okay, uh, null hypothesis, mean for mighty, mighty good is uh, is similar to my, uh, mean for supermax. Supermax, eh? Uh, and then research hypothesis, mean for mighty good is not the same or unequal with the uh, mean for supermax. Okay, and then for type of water, uh, mean for hot water is equal to mean, uh, mean for cold water and then research hypothesis mean for hot water does not equals to mean for cold water dua dua set eh okay and then question 1b so let's run the analysis in uh, our uh, uh, by using our data set okay you can open uh, are you ready with your data set dah okay to run the analysis of two uh, two by two factorial anova two by two ni because we have two groups of two IVs, two category. Uh, so each category tu ada dua. IV2, IV1 and IV2, they have two categories. Okay, so to run the analysis, click analyze, click gen general linear model. Analyze, GLM, general linear model and univariate. Analyze, general linear model, univariate. Then, okay, under the dependent variable, you insert the whiteness. Insert the whiteness under the DV, dependent variable box. And the fixed factor include detergent and water. Detergent and water. Okay, and then you click plots. Click plots. Okay. Uh, for horizontal axis, you include, you insert detergent. Okay, so for horizontal axis ni, basically, we use uh, the factor with more level. Horizontal axis. If let's say you have three by two, okay, use the variable with three categories or three fact three levels ni uh, under the horizontal axis. Okay. Uh, tapi dalam case ni, in this case, we have two by two. Or the Both categories have two levels. Okay. And then separate lines, we, we insert water. Okay, detergent for horizontal axis, water for separate lines, and then click add. <coughs> okay, so this uh, this instruction ni, this command ni will create the interaction the interaction command between detergent and water. Okay, then click continue. Next one, click option. Okay, click option. Uh, display you tick for descriptive statistic, estimates of effect size, and homogeneity test. Okay, and then click continue. 
And then uh, and, uh, in the univariate box, click OK. Okay, this is the extra notes for analysis that involve IVs with a group more than or equals to three group, three level. Okay. Uh, ini another, uh, apa tu dia punya, um, if you have more than three groups, if any of your IVs have more, at least three or more level, okay, you need to click on post hoc, post hoc. If you may recall, eh, post hoc comparison eh, is available when you run the one-way ANOVA. Why one-way ANOVA? Because one-way ANOVA do not provide direct uh, differentiation between the categories. To refer which group that different with which group, then we need to refer to post hoc comparison. So that is why when, if let's say your analysis, you have at least one of your IV is uh, three levels or three groups, please click on post hoc, okay? After you click post hoc, you click LSD, okay? And then click continue. Itu sahaja, okay? The rest, similar step. Okay, so this is your output. Do we do we share similar output? Sama tak? Yes, Doctor. Okay. Thank you, Elda. Okay, for the descriptive statistic, Okay, same uh, same with previous one when we did our EDA and so on. So the cell means are important for interpret uh, interpreting factorial ANOVAs and describing the result. So in terms of mean and standard deviation. So we can see either the mean for each level or for each groups are different or not. Okay, kalau kita tengok mean uh, when we use the mighty good in hot water, so the result is higher, uh, sorry, the, the result is 45.77. In cold water, so the result is 61.34, which is higher, Comp uh, cold is, is higher uh, in hot water when we use the mighty good uh, whitening powder. Meanwhile, uh, for supermax, sama juga dengan supermax, uh, meaning that Detergent ni, white whiting powder ni is more effective when we use in cold water. Dalam dalam apa tu dalam air yang sejuk dia lagi efektif, dia lagi putih. Okay. Okay, so this one. Okay. So this uh, descriptive statistics ni provide the mean score, standard deviation and n for each group. Okay, the number of sample for each subgroup. You can check these values, either it is correct or not. Okay, you can add, uh, check on your, uh, how many sample that you have in terms of, uh, in terms of the accuracy of the data entered and so on. Okay, inspecting the pattern of these values will also give you an indication of the impact of your independent variables. Uh, so based on it pun, kita dah boleh tengok dah. Okay, we can come up with a descriptive conclusion regarding our finding. Okay, next one, we refer to the Levin statistic to check on the homogeneity of variance. Okay, so if you recall, this one, we, the Levin statistic, we see, okay, this test, whenever we run the comparison analysis, for example, t-test, okay, and then one-way ANOVA. Jumpa lagi dekat sini. Okay, so the requirement is similar. Okay, if the significant uh, significant value larger or larger or equals uh, to alpha, so meaning that data met the assumption of equality of variance. Okay, if the significant p lesser than alpha, meaning that data data violate the assumption of equality of variance. Okay, so in this case, based on our living test uh, living test statistic, since the significant value is 0.36, okay, since the significant value is 0.36 which is larger than alpha 0.05. So we can conclude that our data met the assumption of equality of variance. Uh, so our data or our findings will be valid. Lah. Okay. Okay. Next one, we proceed with the main output. Okay. Nampoli tak keluar ni. Luar apa-apa dia dah keluar. Hold on. Eh? Set. Saya setting balik saya punya ni.
Okay, so this is our main output. Eh? Main output will refer to the test of between subject effect table. Okay, so our DV is whiteness. Okay, clothed whiteness. Okay, and then we see on the sec uh, second, third and fourth rows. Okay. Okay, baris ketiga, kedua, ketiga, dan keempat. Eh, sorry, dua, tiga. Tiga, empat, lima. Okay, detergent. This one will reflect the source detergent. So we have the source type type 3 sum of square, the uh, degree of freedom, mean square, F, uh, F statistic, significant value and partial eta square. So this one partial eta square ni reflect our effect size. Okay, partial eta square is for our effect size. So first detergent. Detergent ni will, uh, will reflect the main effect for type of detergent. Okay, water, main effect for type of water and then the interaction between detergent and water. Okay, so first uh, second, sorry, second. Okay, so F ni, second we need, what we need to report is the F value. Okay, F value, significant F and partial eta square. That's all. Tiga benda sahaja. F, significant F and partial, a partial eta square. Okay. So this is the criteria for the effect size. If you use the partial eta square or partial omega square. Dua-dua ni kita boleh guna. Small. If, let, if let's say the value lesser than 0 0.05, small effect size, uh, point, uh, lesser than 0 0.14, medium, larger than or equals to 0 0.14, large. Okay, by the way, F, uh, F statistic ni, uh, the value will always be positive. Eh? So the value will range from 0 to infinity. Okay, the value of F will range from 0 to infinity. Positive side. Okay. So this one is the estimated margin, marginal means for detergent. You are that table ni. Do you have this table? No. Tak ada. Ada ada. Ada ada. Tak ada. Ada plot plot saja. Estimated marginal means of whiteness for five plots. You all ada ni. This estimated marginal means of whiteness, but you do not have these two tables eh. Estimated marginal means ni tak ada eh? Betul, betul. Hold on eh. Ha, ni. This one, this step ni. Hmm, eh. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start again with our step. Okay. Click analyze. Click. Uh, you just recall. Recall the function. Analyze general linear model. Click univariate. You, you just click the recall button kat atas tu. It will lead you to this page. Betul tak? Betul? Betul. Okay, you click paste. Click paste. Okay, it will open the syntax command. Syntax, uh, syntax window. Jumpa? Hafiz jumpa? Ah, okay, so click paste. It will lead you to this uh, instruction, this command. Okay. Okay, you type when next to tables ni, you type compare. Compare detergent. Dia akan jadi macam ni. Dia akan jadi macam ni eh. Next to detergent ni, tables, detergent, Interaction with water. Next to it, you type compare detergent. It will be like this. Compare detergent. Dan, dan.
Oke, okay, Hafiz. Uh, maybe saya pak saya guna version 2.28 kot. Tak, uh, tak sama command ni dengan doktor. Ya Mana yang beza? Saya guna yang lama lagi ni. 20, mine is 25 rasanya. Oh, Hafiz dah pakai 28 eh. Lajunya. Haa. Uh. Saya tak ada command yang EM means tu tak ada. Saya ada plot, after plot, through criteria and design dia. Plot, EM means ni tak ada eh? Yang, ha, ha, tiga command EM means tu tak ada. Tapi tadi masa uh, masa select the, uh, select uh, dia punya instruction tadi memang tick kan? Compare ni, compare LSD. Ada kan tick? Dekat plot. Yes, yes. Dekat plot. Dekat plot. Ada tak? Biasanya kena add sama. Saya sama dengan Hafiz juga. Saya rasa tak tahu mungkin terlepas ke sebab EM means memang tak ada. Sama juga. Hmm. The rest memang follow dah kan? Hmm. Saya pun tak ada doktor. Saya sama macam Hafiz juga tak ada. Ada juga. Okey okey. Eh, saya sedang tengok balik. Ni semua version 28 lah ni. Saya 26. Ha, sepatutnya saya ada. 26. Sepatutnya ada. Yang tadi memang dekat uh, dekat uh, plot tadi memang tick eh. Siapa siapa yang ada? Dekat plot tadi kita masuk add. Kita tekan add saja doktor. Tu yang ada eh? Tu ada eh? Interface saya tak ada yang button untuk tick for compare tu tak ada. Tak ada button untuk compare. Ada chat type, error, error bar, include reference line with grand mean, where assist type at zero. Sekejap eh. Sekejap saya tengok. Plots plus hot. Okay, can you share your screen? Mari tengok. Nah, Mari habis. Hafiz ke, Mahfuz ke? Mari kita boleh share tengok. Uh, Doktor, yeah. uh, tadi kita uh, klik dekat plots dan juga option saja. Dekat EM means tu ada nak kena buat apa-apa ke? EM means tak ada. Dalam box, univariate box tu. Univariate box tak ada. And means tu kalau tak salah kena ada insert uh, display mean for detergent water and detergent water sebab saya dapat sama macam Dr. Nomi punya Cuba try Sekejap. Yang three groups tadi eh yang post hoc tu Post hoc tu kita masukkan detergent dengan water tu dekat post hoc test kemudian kita klik LSD, LSD. Tu that one if let's say we have more than three groups right? Uh -huh. In our case we do not have uh, uh, any of our IVs tu we only have two IV uh, two, uh, two subgroups so kita tak take pun LSD tu Sekejap Apa ni dia ni? Okay Uh, model, ok plot, kita klik plot Partners, detergent, plot Ok, ha, kat sini tak masukkan Ay, Dah, dah masuk, eh lagi mana tadi? Dah ada tadi detergent water tu Detergent water Ok Ok, continue EM means tak ada lah EM means, EM means 
Ya, apa function lagi yang kita tinggal kat sini? Ya, means tengok. Hmm, means. Adis. Kalau ikut slide doktor, macam kena masukkan yang detergent water dengan detergent water dalam display means for tu doktor, kan? Means and display means for that, nah. Kamu mana saya tinggal ni? Okay, dekat option tu, betul. Dekat option tu, include all the three. Saya tertinggal tu. Option. Okay, estimate, statistic, uh, estimate effect size, homogeneity. Hmm. Where should we use the three models eh? Kat mana ni? Kalau yang saya punya saya boleh pilih tiga-tiga tu. Kat you all ni kat mana nak pilih? Uh, try uh, try tick F test. Try tick F test. F test. Okay. Click, click model. Okay. Uh, the model detergent water. Use univariate model. Custom model. Custom univariate. Kalau tick univariate model. Yang factors and covariates ni boleh choose tak detergent and water ni? Dia tak aktif eh? Tak boleh. Tak ada. Unless custom model dia boleh choose. Ada custom model. Cuba. Ah, cuba. Cuba add. Dua-dua. Okay, uh, kalau factorial tu, cuba tengok. Factorial jadi lagi satu. Main effect, interaction effect. Try click interaction effect. Okay. Continue. Model, F model, observe power, parameter. Okay, continue. Hmm, dia cakap okay. Uh, try cuba paste, paste. Tekan paste. Okay, cuba Hafiz tunjuk uh, output. Uh, bukan output, command. Uh, Sintek command. Hak ni nampak uh, data lagi. Tak keluar juga eh. Betul saya jumpa dah. Jumpa dah ha. Dekat uh, EM, EM means tu memang kena klik. EM, EM means tu. Tadi kita tak tekan. EM means. Saya pula. Ni. Klik overall ke Mahfuz? Estimate marginal means tu. Tapi dekat uh, function dia tu dekat mana Mahfuz? Untuk yang you all ni. Dalam univariate box tu ada. Kat bawah. Dia dekat tadi. Tadi book analyze. General linear model univariate. Kan model contrast. Dekat EM means tu klik. Lepas tu dia ada factor and factors interaction. Dia ada overall, detergent, water. So kalau klik semua tu. Dekat model tu. Dia akan tak? pergi ke sebelah sana. Dekat model. Ah, dekat tepi tu. Yang kan model contrast sebab ni mungkin yang ni kot. Untuk 26 and above kot. Model contrast plots. Post hoc ada EM means save option bootstrap tepi ni. Dia bawa option tepi ni. Oh EM means tu? Haa. Uh -huh. ah, EM means tu? Haa. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sebab bila, bila paste dekat tu tadi, uh, apa, dia punya tu, ada tu, ada dia punya tu. Haa, uh, Hafiz jumpa tak? EM means tu? Haa, uh, tu buat cuba share lagi sekali Hafiz. Can you share again? Reset balik kot. Saya balik dekat univariate tadi. Dekat main 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 box. Okay. Uh, analyze generally. Ah, hak tu. Ah, betul lah. Saya cari hak ni lah tadi tak jumpa. Oh, include three je. Detergent, water and detergent interaction between detergent and water. Overall tak payah kan? Compare main effect tu. Ah, main effect detergent water. Interaction effect detergent 
Uh, hold on. Oh, sebab you all punya function EM tu kat luar dah. Betul tak? Betul, Doktor. Ah, yang saya punya ni kat dalam. Saya cari hak ni lah tadi. Uh, so, tick for compaign effect. Mm, yang overall tu tak payah. Overall tak payah. Detergent, water, detergent, uh, interaction between detergent and water. Lepas tu, tick for compaign effect. Display tu descriptive estimate of effect size and homogeneity test. Okay. Compaign effect Okay dah Okay ni dah Overall tadi dah buang eh Okay then continue Plots tadi plots Tengok plots Okay masukkan balik ha, Ni dah eh ha, Dah dah Ni dah Continue Okay dah settle Click paste Okay go to your output Ah bukan command. Sintek command. Dapat. Ha, ada tak ada. Ha, dapat dah. Okey sebab tu je. Sebab yang saya punya dia embed dalam option tu. You all punya dia letak kat luar. Boleh. Ha hak ni, nilah you all type tadi. Compare tadi. Boleh? Compare uh, Compare detergent Compare bracket detergent Nice Type this one eh. Compare bracket detergent. Uh, compare bracket detergent. Ada lagi? Tell any more problem. Ada lagi tak dapat tak? Ada lagi? Ada lagi yang tak dapat? Okay. After you you uh, you uh, you type the compare uh, bracket detergent ni. You select all. Select all. Okay, uh, highlight from unit unit ANOVA ni until the detergent interaction detergent water ni and then you click this green arrow. Okay, click this green arrow. Go to your output and you can see the new result. Interaction between detergent and water. And you can see either you can uh, the most important table that we want to refer is this one lah pairwise comparison ni, which pair that is significantly uh, influencing uh, the whiteness, cloth whiteness. Dapat? Lagi detail lah. Dapat tak? Ada. Okay, alhamdulillah dapat lah. Okay, so then questions 1C, we set our alpha which is already been given based on the question. Our alpha is 0 0.05. Okay, so based uh, question 1D, we make decision. Okay, we make decision according to our main effect, the two main effect, we refer to F and significant F. Okay, for the first one, okay, so since significant F, uh, 0.123, betul? Significant F value, 0.123, right? Betul? Betul tak? Betul. Okay. Betul, betul. It is larger than alpha 0.05. So, we fail to reject hash naught. Okay. 
Okay, so we fail to reject hash naught from the first main effect, but for the second main effect, so the significant uh, the significant f equals 2.00, betul? 0 0.000, which is lesser than alpha, betul? Correct? Okay, then therefore we reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Okay, and then next one, question 1E, main effect. Okay. There is no interaction main effect for type of detergent or there is significant main type effect, main effect for water, water temperature. So this is the conclusion for the main effect. So since we fail to reject hash naught, so there is no significant main effect for type of detergent. So regardless of detergent that we use, that there is no significant effect on the whiteness. Tak ada. Okay, but for the uh, water temperature, there are the significant main effect. Okay, sama ada dalam cold ataupun hot water in which, based on our finding, based on the mean, the result of our mean, we can conclude that Okay, whiteness ni clothes will be uh, apa tu lebih cerah, lebih putih dalam uh, air yang sejuk. Betul? Betul tak? Betul salah. <laughs> okay. This is for question one. Okay, next one question 2A. Okay. Uh, to respond to the uh, to the first question, we state the null and research hypothesis. So null hypothesis will be there is no interaction effect between type of detergent and water temperature. And then research hypothesis, there is interaction effect between type of detergent and water temperature. Okay. Okay, so ni kita dah ada, kita dah ada result kita. So we refer to the test of between subject effect. Okay, which is the interaction between detergent and uh, detergent and water. So, ini value yang kita nak eh. Slide tadi lah ni. Okay, so we set our alpha. Okay, 0 0.05. So, uh, to respond to question 2D. So, based on the result, the significant F equals 2.576. Betul? Is it correct? Betul? Significant F. 0.576. This one eh. Boleh, jumpa tak? Am I too fast? Or am I too slow? Or slow and steady? This one eh. Betul ke tak? Jumpa? Ya, betul. 0.576. 0.576. Okay, so since our significant F equals to 0.576, so we fail to reject null hypothesis. Okay, so we fail to reject null hypothesis. Okay. Okay, so the conclusion to respond to question 2E, there is no significant interaction effect between types of detergent and water temperature. Ha, tak ada kesan pun. Kalau kita ubah detergent tu, jenis detergent, dalam uh, air yang berbeza tu tak ada kesan terhadap keputihan baju. Okay. Okay. So this is the APA presentation of table. So we need to report all the information. Sum square, sum square, de degree of freedom, mean square, F value, uh, significant uh, significant value and partial eta square to indicate the, uh, the size of the different or size of the effect. Okay. So we need to refer, uh, report both lah. Okay. Detergent, water, detergent times water, error. And total and then table two descriptive statistic. We report the mean as well. Uh, we report the we report the mean lah. Kalau we report uh, sometimes we report the standard deviation as well. Okay, so this is the table according to APA style. Okay, then this one. If let's say we want you want to report further, you can also report the graph. Uh, the graph ni hot water. Cold water. Kalau kita tengok, dia lagi uh, untuk yang uh, sabun mighty good ni. Mighty good. Mighty good biru dalam hot water. Okay, mighty good. Dia compare mighty good and super mac. Super mac lebih efficient in hot water. Tuh, kita tengok dia lagi, graf dia lagi tinggi. Super mac ni dia lagi, lagi efficient lah compare 
compared to mighty good in both uh, in both uh, temperature either hot or cold dua-dua dia lagi efektif kan sebab dia lagi tinggi tapi super max ni dalam cold dalam cold water hot water hot water ni lagi tinggi betul betul ke salah tapi result tadi macam terbalik tak mighty good you all dapat benda yang sama kan you have a similar finding Hmm. Mighty good Hot water Hot water, mighty good Super max Sebab dia lagi tinggi ni kat sini ni Okay so you can also report this one eh Okay then question number 3 In terms of interpretation So a 2 by 2 two way ANOVA was performed Using IBM SPSS General linear model to assess whether A uh, Clothes whiteness, why could be predicted from different types of detergent, which is mighty good and supermax, so different water temperature, which is hot, hot and cold, and the interaction between the types of detergent and types of water. So as can be seen from table one, there is no significant difference in clothes whiteness between different types of detergent. Okay, F equals to 2.492, a significant value equals to 0 0.123, eta squared equals to 0 point, uh, 0.065 indicates moderate effect size. Okay, meanwhile, there is a significant main effect of type of water. F value equals to 21.102. Significant P equals to 0 0.000. Eta squared 0.37 indicates large effect size. So further analysis on the types of detergent. X types of water indicated that there is no statistically significant F ratio for the interaction between the two. Okay, F equals to 0.319, uh, significant value equals to 0.576, eta squared equals to 0 0.009, indicating stunt effect size. Okay, so kalau kita tengok kat sini, eh, in terms, remember, eh, please remember, to make decision, yes, we compare the significant value against alpha. But when you report, make sure you report both value F, uh, values F and significant F. In terms of reporting, make sure you report both. Only when to make decisions saja, you compare between significant F against alpha. Okay? Boleh? Any questions so far? Soalan? Any question? Ha, senang je tu uh, tu ya Nova. Any question? Soalan? Okay, uh, saya nak stop kat sini je ini cukup dah tu. Tu ya Nova. Any more question? Because next week we are going to proceed with chi square. Tak ada uh, sikit je lagi chi square. And then last topic on, ada lagi dua kan? Sekejap eh, last topic. This, this week on two way. Pi square. Moderation. Ha, cukup lah. Ada lagi dua topik. Final two topic. Okay, any question? On two way ANOVA. Uh, doktor nak tanya yeah. Nanti kalau test memang macam ni ke? Memang macam ni maksudnya Kena buat SPS, kena buat output Statistik okay, semua no. ke? It, is it mean, do you mean for your final exam? Uh, ah, yeah, ya final. Final, final exam final. For final exam, I will uh, apa tu? All the output will be prepared to you uh, It's very easy task You just need to identify the most Appropriate statistics to be reported uh, To be compared Ah, itu sahaja. No need for you to run the analysis. All the output will be provided to you. Memang senang. Confirm A. Oh, output semua dah ada? Dah ada semua. Dah terhidang. Kau nak analyze sahaja? Je. Tunggu makan je. <laughs> Tunggu makan okay, je. Okay, uh, because in terms of procedure, okay, I, I do hope that you already practice when you do your assignment. 
Okay, bila buat assignment tu, kita dah guna yang memang data betul-betul. So, for actual, for the final exam, all the outputs were already provided to you. Okay, you just need to do the reporting. Uh, uh, provide the accurate reporting lah. The statistics will be reported, the step by step. Uh, senang sahaja. Salah lagi tak tahulah. Sebab in practice pun you all, you all, saya rasa untuk level you all ni sama tahu, satu you all pandai buat lah. Satu lagi, you all boleh extract the appropriate statistic lah. Itu paling penting. Okay. Lagi soalan eh? Okay, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if there is no more questions, so we stop here. So we'll see each other again next week. InsyaAllah on Kai Square. Kai Square. Okay, so thank you guys. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher.